Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Good Dolls Country Kitchen. I'm out here on Bardstown Road at the Gardner Lane Shopping Center at King Buffet. All right, I was here two days after it opened. I love the place. Uh, I wasn't for sure if I was going to review it, but I've had an outcrying of followers that want to see a video review of this buffet. So, of course, I'm obliged to go ahead and fulfill the request. Uh, before I get going, though, I want to thank my, my supporters, my followers. We just crossed over 750,000 views this week. So I appreciate everybody that's following the channel. And also, I need everybody to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You know, I use Facebook a lot as a format to share the videos, but they're playing games. They're, uh, they're burying my videos. So I just wanna kind of get around Facebook, eliminate them, and just go strictly to YouTube, go right to my channel, subscribe and that way we don't have to worry about any of the foolishness with facebook so i'm gonna start doing away with that all right so i'm gonna go in here i'm joined today by uh my new friend john paul and he wanted to come and witness the carnage that's about ready to take place in here and here come on in here john sorry for being late mr goodall that's all um, right you know i come prepared got that tripod anyway uh, we're gonna go in there, commence the stacking plates, yep. and you're gonna see why I'm part of a distinguished group of people that have actually been banned and thrown out of a buffet before. That's right, 2012, I told this story before in a couple other videos, at Hometown Buffet on Blankenbaker Parkway. It was peel and eat shrimp night, and I actually, after my 10th plate of heaping shrimp, they came up to me, gave me my money back, and told me to never come back again. So, oh, that's a, that reminds me of another thing here. Uh, at King Buffet, you prepay. They take your money first, and they add a 10% tip. I don't mind either one of them. I do kind of get a kick out of it when they bring me a check later, like let me know I've eaten too much. You know, give me the hint, you're fat, get out. But if you prepay, they can't do that. But I will see if I can make them give me my money back. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah, my goal today, I want to tell you this, Mr. Goodall, is I want to get sent home today. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I want, to, I, want to, I, want to, I want to set a record. I want to get sent home. I want them to kick me out, and I want them to give my money back before they kick me out. So that's exactly. the goal today. I'm going to stack some plates. I didn't eat breakfast. I've been fasting. I hope you didn't eat breakfast, Mr. No, Goodall. No, no, no. I've been fasting, but yeah, the goal is today is I want them to send me home. We so, are stacking plates yeah. today, folks. So stick around. And I got a game plan too. I'm gonna start out, I know I, I was watching your Yoki Buffet review. I know you started out with the seafood. It's a little bit low carb. I'm gonna start with the seafood, the sushi, and we'll show you uh, how we uh, rack those plates. Well, I'm not worried about low carb today. I'm totally fat, carbohydrate, starch full today. I'm going all out. All right, we'll be right back. All right, John's going over to start getting his plates. I tried to get her opening to where I could show the buffet without showing anybody which I'll do my best. But anyway, got soups, uh, crab rangoon, egg rolls. Uh, they got those Chinese dumplings. Oh, there you go. I like that smoked sausage. Hopefully I got some mustard to put on there. Shrimp, wings. I had the wings last time. They're really good. Cheesy mussels. You don't see those too much at the other buffets and then of course my all-time favorite the ch the cheesy imitation crab meat salmon then all your uh basic chinese dishes general so's chicken lo mein rice and look at this dessert bar over here they're not playing good looking stuff there and then, of course, you all that try to fool yourselves and act like you're going to come here and be healthy, they do have some fruit. Of course, who am I trying to kid? I'm not even going to bother going down to that end. 
And then the bananas with the glaze and puddings, rice pudding, salads. Yeah, they got a good salad bar. Once again, for you all that think you're going to be healthy, there you go. All right. <laughs> yeah, who are we kidding, for real? Is this like salad bar, like some kind of, like, for show joke? Right, like anybody's going to eat it. Okay. All right. Then, of course, sushi. Got some good-looking sushi here. Quality sushi. Uh, that looks like salmon rolls. That actually has real meat in it. And then they got the hibachi, which I might actually do a hibachi plate later. You come over and load up, and then uh, they cook it for you right in front of you there on the grill. Uh, the place is big. It's the old, as you might remember, the old uh, Buckheads on Bardstown Road. Huge dining room and plenty of room. You don't get cramped and get stampeded by a bunch of fat people trying to get to the buffet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting my plate loaded up and be back in just a All second. Right, so, as I said, I start off with my favorites, which just happens to be this cheesy imitation crab meat. And I put the hot chili sauce on it and also these cheesy mussels. Let me just say, folks, they're going to lose money on me today. The profit margins are going down. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know, mussels aren't cheap. They also have the cold mussels up there with the uh, peel and eat shrimp and stuff. Very tasty. I like it. They got that chewy texture to it. All right, imitation crab meat. Cheesy crab meat. Mmm, 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 mmm. I got the hot chili sauce. On that too. All right, be right back, and then we'll show you what. Job. I decided to go with something a little bit lighter, a um, little bit, a little bit light appetizer. And as far as getting your money's worth, you know, this buffet is very affordable—13, 14 bucks for all you can eat. You know, you go to a grocery store, and on a special, you know, on a Wednesday, they got six dollar for a ten-piece sushi. So I've got about twelve pieces here. Um, it wasn't labeled, so I'm not really sure what this is, and they were just putting it out, so it's very, very fresh. You can tell this is, you know, freshly made. But I'm gonna go ahead and start to try, it looks like this is a salmon. I'm yep. Try this. Mm. Yeah, that looks like quality stuff. And oh, by yeah. the way, you said $13.41 for the price of the buffet. That was including a 10% tip. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, uh, it must be like eleven ninety nine or ten ninety nine. I don't know, I'm not a mathematician, but mm -hmm. yeah, and I like I like the fact that they put the ten percent tip on first. You know, a lot of y'all out there playing it cheap probably don't like it, but you know, these people don't work for free. Mm -hmm. All right. So it looks good, quality sushi. I've been to sushi places and I'm that, putting, yeah, I'm that putting don't look at good. Yeah. But you're putting what on it? I'm putting the feed bag on. Um, like I said, when you come to these buffets, it's all about speed. And um, So you're the marathon man today. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm cool. Good. All right, be right back. Round two right, comes so John. Man, he needs some sideboards for his plate. Mm -hmm. Plate right. two. He, he went round two on the sushi too. Yep, we got cheesy sushi, mussels. cheesy mussels. I've never tried those. These look like the normal mussels. We got some shrimp shrimp cocktail so i'm gonna go ahead and i've never had these but mm. Mm -hmm. cooked shrimp good yeah you can't beat those cheesy mussels cooked mussels they're good yeah that's good mm. try one of the normal mussels those were off the cold bar weren't they yeah yeah mm. they taste fresh I'm sure they are. Mm -hmm. Here he goes with the peel and eat. Let's see how those, oh, they look like they're cooked good. The shell's coming right off of them. A lot of time you go to these uh, buffets with the peel and eat shrimp and they're, the way they cook them, the, the shell sticks and you can't get your money's worth, but looks yeah. like compliments to the chef mm -hmm. here. I like this one right here. These are good. 
Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll be right back. I'm gonna show you my second plate. All right, so like I said, I start off with favorites and then work my way down. Sushi ranks up there real high. Of course, I got plenty of wasabi in that soy sauce. That was crab. Now I'm going to salmon and avocado, which I'm not sure what that's called. Could be an Alaskan roll, I don't know. But tastes good. And it looks like crab with avocado. Very tasty. And you see here this roll. It's got that good imitation crab meat in there. Hey, I ain't hating. I like imitation crab meat. All right. I'm gonna keep working on this. Be back in just a minute with round three. All right, so I got this smoked sausage. I would have liked some French's yellow mustard, but all they have was the Chinese, so I'll take what I can get. Mmm. Mm. Got good taste to it. The butterfly shrimp. I don't waste anything. I eat the tail too. All right. Now, as I've told you all before, I will try anything. Get in here close, John. That's an octopus. And it was on the salad bar. So I guess it's healthy. So even though I'm trying to be unhealthy today, I'm gonna go ahead and try this octopus. Mmm. It's not bad. Looks even got the head on it. And tentacles. Matter of fact, I kind of like it. I ain't gonna lie. Chewy, I love chewy texture. Now the Chinese dumplings. Those are just your good basic Chinese dumplings. Not the best, but not the worst. All right. Now, something I do have high hopes for here, which I had the first time I was here, and I was pleasantly surprised, is the buffalo wings. They're quality. These are jumbo. V is in victory. All right. Be right back, we're gonna see what John's got. John's on his round three. I had to go back and get more of these. These cheesy mussels, they're awesome. I went with some fried rice here. Uh, looks like the lo mein. I'm gonna try the uh, hibachi in a minute. Looks like the beef, this is the beef and, um, looks like beef some beef. Beef and vegetables? Yeah, beef and vegetable. We got the general towel, this was almost gone. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, it was almost, it was pretty Dang much Dang on. Well, you know, know they'll be refilling, because everybody likes that general mm -hmm. soap. How's the fried rice? Mm -hmm. Good, standard. I'm trying to slow man. Mm. These noodles, these are bigger than you normally get in takeout. I'm gonna try this general, this is a traditional general towels. I call it general so. I don't know what the actual correct pronunciation is. Everybody knows I butcher up any kind of international lingo mm-hmm that's good let me try this is that beef and vegetables looks like it got good gravy on it mm. Mm -hmm. so you approve of all your selections there tender well seasoned i mean you can't go wrong Shit, i got my money's worth already i'm only on right. plate three plate three and i already got my money's worth 
Wonderful. All right, be back for round four. All right, so I got the hot spicy chicken over lo mein. And when I say spicy, do you see the jalapeno there? So it's legit spicy. Plus I put some of that uh, chili sauce on there. Mm. Yeah. Good and spicy. Love those fresh jalapenos that they cook on there too. All right. So don't accuse me of trying to be healthy. I'm not over here fronting. But that's salmon. And it looks to be quality. I had it the last time I was here. And it was very good. And I do like salmon. So here we go with that. Mm. Tasting. Got a nice little singe across the top. You go to a restaurant, a regular sit-down restaurant, you're probably gonna pay, if you had like a couple of those little slices of salmon, you're probably gonna pay like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. So you can come over here and put on a feed bag with some salmon and just make out like a bandit. You start eating plates full of salmon, you might get your money back. They might just throw you on out of here. All right. And then I had to go back to the old faithful cheesy crab meat. Mmm, so good. All right, be back in just a second. We're gonna see what John's got. John, well, I got some, my favorite. These are the um, crab rangoons. And you go to a restaurant and you're gonna pay six bucks for, for six of those. Yeah. So I got three of them right here. Egg roll, these are at least two bucks at a restaurant, Chinese restaurant. I went with the, tried the wontons, and this is something you never see, I personally have never seen on a buffet, Chinese buffet is this sausage. Yeah, smoked um, sausage. I was just informed this is chicken, I thought this was ribs, but we're gonna try it out, so. All right. Mm. Oh yeah, his, he got his plate swimming in mm. some of that duck sauce or whatever. That's a sweet and sour, and these are filled. They don't skimp. They're not skimping on that uh, the crab rangoon meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cool. All right. What we got? Egg roll. Is that just a regular egg roll, or is that a spring roll or mm. something? Might be a spring roll. I don't know. This might be vegetarian, but it's crispy. Mm-hmm. Got the Chinese dump ones. I've already seen them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got that pork there in the middle. Oh, yeah. And we'll try this chicken. Yeah. He thought it was ribs. The waitress just uh, informed us it was like some bourbon chicken or something. Ooh. What do you That's think? tender. It's not dry. <laughs> Very tender. What kind of glaze is that? Is it bourbon? Can mm -hmm. you taste what it is? Yeah. It's not barbecue, that's bourbon. Okay. I'm gonna try this sausage. Looks like it's kind of crispy. Wow. Like kielbasa? Mm-hmm. That might be kielbasa. That is good. Nice and salty. Right. And you can tell it's good when it snaps. When you bite into that, yeah. that line. Okay. All right. We're going to finish these plates and get ready for round five. I was telling you all about the hibachi. I'm about ready to get me a plate of hibachi. You got your choice of all the vegetables and proteins like chicken, shrimp, beef. I'm probably going to go with some shrimp and get it spicy. All right. There's mine. I'm cooking. Yeah. Guy ain't no rookie. He knows what he's doing. Oh, I got him some steak and vegetables. All right, I'll be right back. We start flipping mine. Around. All right, here it comes. All right. 
and voila. All right, so I think this is round five. I told you all described what I had up there already. No need to do that twice. Uh, and by the way, I had a stack of plates working over here and I kept telling them to leave my plates alone. And we went up there, they snuck in and took my plates. That's the only way I can really keep track. All right. Mmm. Mmm. It's plain spicy. When I was inhaling, trying to suck the noodles in, the vapors off of that pepper was hit me in the throat and almost choked me. And of course, off those fresh jalapenos. Yeah, it's definitely got some kick to it. And by the way, I said this place used to be the Buckheads. It was also 502 Crab. What was it? Legend Crab. Legend Crab, that's right. I mistakenly said 502 Crab when I was somewhere else. Legend Crab, Legend Crab lasted about 10 minutes before it went out of business. What? Yeah. How long? What, it was 502? Yeah, no, no, it was Legend, but it wasn't long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to keep me straight here, John. Sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> mm. Very tasty. When you come here, you definitely got to get the hibachi. That's, that's like $15 plate right mm -hmm. there. All right. So we're going to be right back, and then we're going to see what John got for his hibachi. Alright, so John. So there's mine. I went with the I went with a combo. I went with the lo mein noodles and then also I got some rice in there because I, I like both of them. Mm -hmm. I got some broccoli, I got some mushrooms, I got these little corn pieces I like. Mm -hmm. They took my fork, so I'm having to use this chopstick here. I got shrimp, I got zucchini, and some egg. So let's see how this is. Oh look at John showing off his chopstick skills. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm too fat for chopsticks. I don't get enough at one time. They make me work for it with chopsticks. I ain't I ain't into that. All right, well, John's shoveling it in pretty wow. good with the chopsticks. What do you think there? Very well seasoned. I got teriyaki, and I'm telling you right now, oh, man. It's cooked perfectly. This is, you go to a hibachi grill, this is 15 bucks easy, easy. Oh, man, we're making out like bandits. They might put, put criminal charges up on us by the time we get out of here. Mm -hmm. All right, be back for round six, seven, what? Okay. All right, be right so, back. So I'm starting to taper down here. I'm trying to switch up selections. I got the buttered shrimp. Pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. And I went back to the octopus. I wonder how they harvest these. That's interesting. Mm. And came back to some salmon, sushi. And as I said, these wings the sauce on these buffalo wings is actually really tasty. And a lot of times you get wings on a buffet and they're not good. These are actually quality wings. These are as good or better than a lot of places you go to a bar, sports bar, and you get buffalo wings. These are better than most. Mm. All right, I don't know what this is, round seven, I don't know. But, start to taper down. Be back in just a minute, see what else we can get into. John. I'm winding down myself. I think this is plate number six. No, you said seven. Oh, this is seven, yeah, mm -hmm. six or seven, I lost track. So I think I might have one more plate in me and then that might be it. So I went with some fruit to kind of, you know, help the palate, cleanse the palate. 
Now, I want you to be honest, John. When I was eating that last plate and I had that octopus mm -hmm. and you're doing that close up, did I hear you dry heave? <laughs> no. I like hot octopus actually. This grape, these are fresh. These are fresh fruit. This isn't something that's in a. It looks good and fresh. Around. That watermelon, I had some watermelon last night. This looks good. Mm hmm. Mm. This is. What do you think of that watermelon? Mm. Seedless? Yeah. Juicy? How about the sweetness? Mm. Very sweet. Let me try this cantaloupe. Mm. The cantaloupe looks good and ripe. Mm -hmm. Tasty. All right. Well, I'm going to go up here and get me a couple things. Pineapple. Ooh. All right. For you all that, that want to come here and try to be healthy, you see there are options. So, all right, we'll be right back, and I'm going to start in on dessert. No, I think I'm going to go for something else first. All right, so everywhere I go, I have to try the hot and sour soup. I'm a big fan of hot and sour soup. It has the mushrooms and tofu and a spicy, sweet broth. It's kind of thick. It's pretty good. I'm not going to say it's the best but it sure ain't the worst. Does the job. Of course, you're, you're talking to a guy tasting something that's already had eight plates. So, anyway, <laughs> if it wasn't good, I wouldn't be able to eat it. All right, and I'm gonna say that, I'm not gonna throw that away, but while we're on the same clip, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my dessert plates in here. John's watermelon looks so good and seedless, and he said it was sweet. Mm -hmm. And the triple bite. Patented move. Pretty good. And you know, as expensive as watermelon is this day, these days, you come here and make your money back just eating watermelon if you want. I went to get watermelon the other day, it was $8. You're dehydrated, nothing better to eat than watermelon. Be right back. Okay. Now I'm about ready to start in on some ice cream. Looks like they got bubble gum, strawberry, uh, chocolate mint, cookies and cream, chocolate, vanilla, and I don't know what that is. Hey, we'll I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it looks too funky. Anyway, I want to get me some. Be right back. All right. Got your just your basic. Vanilla with chocolate syrup on it. Pretty good quality. It ain't no earlers, but it does the job. It is. And John? I'm not sure. John Paul, what'd you get? I went with the half and half. I got cookies and cream up here. And then you'll see that's actually um, that's butter pecan on the bottom there. Okay, you got with a some chocolate fancy sauce. With it. So, all right. Well, we're gonna work on this, and I don't know. I kind of I saw the manager up there kind of giving me the stink eye. You know what that means? I gotta go for two more plates. Just do my little victory dance. All right. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. I punked out. I got a phone call right after that last clip took me about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so to talk to somebody. And by the time I got off the phone, the food had settled. And I was like, well, you know, I could eat more, but just why make myself miserable? So anyway, uh, I didn't punish the buffet and do my extra two plate victory dance like I had said I was going to. John, John Paul, what do you think about uh, what we just had here? Yeah, we had about seven or eight plates. Definitely got our money's worth. Um, everything was fresh. Um, it doesn't sit around. 
flavorful. It's a quality buffet. We met the owners. Um, they run a tight ship in there. Yeah, highly recommend it. Five stars. Yeah, and by the way, the owners, uh, there's four brothers. They have several restaurants. They actually own uh, the crab place. What was it called? Legend Crab. Legend Crab. Own. They own that. They also, they, I think he said they have two other locations. Yep. And they have Sounds other great. restaurants like in Indiana and Tennessee. Tennessee. So anyway, really nice people. Locally owned, family owned. So even though they own more than one restaurant, it's not like a corporate franchise place or anything like that. Family owned and operated. Anything else? All right. Y'all don't know nothing about this King Buffet. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.